Hello Exorcolutionist. Welcome back to my channel. Before watching this, watch part 1 of this video. So this is part 2 final of exception handling with more exception handling. In the previous part 1 of exception handling we showed a simple way of handling exception with console right line to print the throne exception. We have already discussed all the forms and classes that we have created. In this video, we will update our form registration code that will add some code. We have a long return type number with a parameter of string stud num. In this method we insert try catch finally, and if condition. Try student number is equal to stud num parameter converted to long data type. Try check if stud num is equal to null, then throw exception argument null exception with message box show and print this. Catch is null. Finally, we print this. Then return the value of the student number. Long return type contact number with the parameter of string contact. In this method, we insert another condition of else if. Try check if regex is match contact to integer 0 to 9 with index of 10 to 11. Then if it is match, contact number is equal to contact parameter converted to long data type. Else if check contact number is equal to null then throw exception of argument null exception with message box show and print this. Else the contact is not matched to regex index then throw exception of index out of range with message box show and print this. Catch is null. Finally print this. Then return the value of contact number. String return type full name with the parameter of last name, first name, and middle initial. In this method we change the how exception is printed. Try check if regex is matched to last name, first name, and middle initial string with lower, lower to upper, and uppercase only. Then if is match, full name is equal to last name first name and middle initial separated by comma. Else the last name, first name, and middle initial is null and not string then throw exception of argument null exception with message box show and print this. Catch is null. Finally print this. Then return the value of full name. int return type age with the parameter of string age. In this method we insert else if. Try check if regex is matched to age integer 0 to 9 with index of 1 to 3. Then if it is match, age is equal to age parameter converted to int. Else if check age is equal to null then throw exception of argument null exception with message box show and print this. Else age is not matched to index of regex then throw overflow exception with message box show then print this. Catch is null. Finally print this. We just update all the methods by adding some conditions and exceptions in the methods. And with other codes, there are no changes. Now we will execute the program without errors, it means we will not throw exception. This is the finally printed statement with all finally. Let's set the last name, first name, and middle initial is empty. So the message box is shown it means we throw an exception of argument null exception. After clicking OK the thrown exception will print by the system with it's another finally statement. You might be asking what if I leave only the middle initial text box empty. This will run without exception, because the MI argument is already string, so it can be considered. As long as the full name has a value of string there will be no exception. And if the full name has no value the exception will be thrown. Let's set the age index is greater than 1 to 3. 
so the message box is shown it means we throw an exception of overflow exception. After clicking OK the thrown exception will print by the system with its another finally statement. Let's set the contact number index is greater than 10 to 11. So the message box is shown it means we throw an exception of index out of range. After clicking OK the thrown exception will print by the system with its another finally statement. Let's set the student number is equal to string. The message box did not show, but the student number format is long. Even if the message box did not show, the system still will print the exception of format exception with finally statement. Let's set all the text box for student number, last name, first name, middle initial, age, and contact number. So the message box shown it mean we throw an exception. After clicking all the OK the thrown exception will print by the system with its finally statement. After clicking all the OK the thrown exception will print by the system with its finally statement. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.